Welcome to the homestead. Uh, today's project, the lower garden that has the peanuts in it, is due to be processed. They're actually processing the uh, peanut field over there, so I figure it's a good time for me to go ahead and get mine done. But before I do that, I need to do some work on the mower. The, uh, when I was clearing the gun range a couple days ago so that we could sight in the rifles, I bent a little piece, so I gotta pull that off, straighten it back out, and then uh, we can use the mower to help with the harvest. And if you're shaking your head going, how are we gonna use a lawnmower to harvest peanuts? It's only part of it. Stick around, I'll show you how. After some cussing and fighting, I was finally able to get it out. Uh, this piece goes up under the mower deck and it helps direct everything out the side. The way it's sitting right now, it's down like this, so everything that is coming across the right two sets of blades is blowing under it. It's not maintaining everything through there. So what I gotta do is try to straighten that out a little and then turn this up some. And of course I don't have a lot of the tools I need, so we're gonna be using 2x4s and BFHs. Uh, big freaking hammers. Okay. Maybe not 2x4s. All right, it's not perfect. It still hangs down just a little bit, but I've at least got it straightened out enough so that I hope it works. Let me get this reinstalled. Ooh. Good. The blades don't hit it either. All right. Yeah, we'll grease this up and we'll go ahead and uh, start working on the peanuts. Welcome to our peanut patch. Most of the tops have been eaten out of the peanuts by the deer. And looks like the squirrels have started to dig too.
cleanup patch before I go and dig it is because I'm going to be using the box blade to rip up the peanuts. Uh, the way I'm doing that is I've got the top link on the tractor adjusted all the way in to tilt the box blade as far as possible. I don't want the cutting edge on the back here to really contact the soil. I just want the rippers in the ground which are extended all the way out. So I'm going to go in there, basically rip up the peanuts, and then I can just go ahead and uh, pick through them. And hopefully that'll be a lot easier than going in here with a fork or a spade and trying to manually dig them. Let's stick around and see what happens. first run I don't think it's bad. Let's see what I get. thought I'd take a second because I pulled this one up. Um, growing up in Maine we couldn't grow peanuts there. Our season wasn't long enough. So I thought I'd pull part of one that I hadn't mowed and you can see the peanuts here hanging underneath. These are you know legumes so they grow underground just like a uh, potato would. It's just they're much much smaller than a potato in most aspects. But for my uh, northern friends and family, this is what a peanut looks like, and this is how it grows. All right, the rippers worked to loosen up the soil, but it was a pain in the butt to get all the peanuts out of there. So next year, I think I need to come up with a different method to extract the peanuts. Who knows, maybe over the winter I'll have the time and build a peanut harvester out of what I have available. But... This is what we ended up getting. All of this came from one quart jar of raw peanuts. Uh, in subsequent videos, I'm going to uh, show you how we store our peanuts for the winter and how we go about, uh, well, next spring I'll show you how, you how we plant them, but we'll go ahead and get these, start getting these processed here in the next couple days. I'm gonna give them at least overnight possibly tomorrow night just stir them up a little just to dry them before I uh, wash them that way some of the dirt comes off a little easier if it's dry that's what I got now let me clean up around here real quick As far as why I use the power bagger, 
I wanted to clean up everything, mulch it, and then I'm going to use this to top this garden to help um, help maintain the soil, help uh, give some worms some feed, and also for insulation. Uh, I have to stay tuned on what I'm going to be insulating, but you can probably guess. Leave your best guess down below in the comments, and we'll see you next time. On